Hi everybody. Just wanted to share with you um, some interesting news on Donald Trump. The Financial Times has reported that Trump compares COVID-19 death rates to the annual flu. It says here that U.S. President continues to minimize pandemic's impact after his discharge from hospital. Donald Trump sought to reinforce his message, reinforce his message that coronavirus presented only a minimal health risk to the general public. Now this is interesting because with over 200,000 people just in the US alone who have died, dead, died from coronavirus, 200,000, over 200,000 families and people, citizens of the US, United States of America, for a president to minimize, mock, ridicule, and state that it's just the an annual flu is absolutely bizarre, insane, wicked, and outright nonsense. The fact that Trump clearly could not protect himself and his wife and 17 other um, officials on his staff does not make common sense. Imagine if Obama was to have acted just taking his mask off as president with over 200,000 people dead and another 800,000 people worldwide who have died from COVID-19 and coronavirus. Also consider the fact that doctors, professionals, medical professionals, trained professionals have also died of COVID-19 and coronavirus. It's absolutely insane for Donald Trump to act as if it's nothing, it's just the annual flu. And this is why Trump is being awarded and dubbed the COVID idiot in chief after telling Americans not to be afraid of coronavirus. He says commentators and Democrats have called out Donald Trump for saying that Americans should not be afraid of a virus that has claimed more than 210,000 lives. It's preposterous. It's inhumane. It's ridiculous. It's proof that Trump is unfit for office. Clearly. Of his own actions, words, One of the best articles I found that sums it completely into truth, it says here that top Donald Trump's aide's daughter claims COVID-stricken president is doing badly. 
And I don't think he's just doing badly with coronavirus or COVID-19. He's doing badly in the office as President of the United States of America. And this is the daughter of Kellyanne Conway and she says, it says here, the 15 year old daughter of one of Donald Trump's closest aides, closest aides, Kellyanne Conway has, has, has supported Trump all the way to the stars and beyond. And Kellyanne Conway's daughter, Claudia Conway, shared the information on TikTok Monday night suggesting President Trump is not recovering as well as he has claimed. Then she states, he's so ridiculous, she wrote. Apparently, he is doing badly, laugh out loud, and they are doing what they can to stabilize him. This was in response to the president's tweet posted on Monday where he said he was feeling really good. It's a, a, a tweet here says he's so ridiculous, apparently he's doing badly, laugh out loud, and they are doing what they can to stabilize him. What really sums it up is her TikTok message she wrote, and she says, I'm furious. Wear your masks. Don't listen to our idiot. F President, peace of S. Protect yourselves and those around you. For this to come from the closest aid to Donald Trump should awake Donald Trump to the core of his mind, his soul, his spirit. A 15 year old is more concerned than the President of the United States of America. Think about it. A 15 year old is more concerned for the citizens of America, dead and alive, than the President of the United States of America. It will be interesting to see how the elections play out. It will be interesting to see how people cast their votes under such distressing actions and behavior of the President of the United States of America in 2020. I hope that everyone will truly search within and use sense, not nonsense, to make their vote because the United States of America election, I feel, is not just about America. It's about the entire world. If you're on YouTube, please share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. As we produce more videos on matters that, and subjects that matter worldwide. Thank you for listening.